Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. This is going to be one of their true intentions and love. And this reading, Sagittarius, could be totally switched. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, switched between you and your person. Uh, both energies will be here. And so far, the first card I chose for your Oracle cards, randomly chose, of course, is uh, the body, Sandra Cisneros. Capricorn got this card, and I feel like somebody else did. could have been Scorpio. But this is, uh, today I was using these cards um, for some of the readings, and I really love these cards, right? These are the literary witches, yeah. And, you know, she, this lady wrote about, uh, wrote about pleasures of the body and kind of woes of the body, right? Which can be kind of being sick or whatever, but we're not talking about that. No, definitely not. And especially with the papaya here, because the papaya is... Uh, you know, it represents health. It does. You know, I remember, you know, uh, I know my ex-husband, you know, he used to always uh, say that, you know, uh, um, papaya was the best thing because of all the enzymes. And as you get older, you have less enzymes in your gut. Uh, this is why you're supposed to take uh, probiotics kind of helps. And uh, enzymes are not really probiotics, but the probiotics help with the enzymes. And they know, and they are to break down your food and kind of, you know, help your body uh, receive the nutrients. So let's continue here, right? Because uh, you could be going, God, this is not Nutrition 101. No, it's not. The love card is right next to it. So the body talks about sex. It does. Uh, yeah, we, it's maybe a little bit of nourishment. Nourishment through sex, Sagittarius. And then the love card is here, right? And here we have the vagina and the titties both together, you guys. This is an X-rated video. It is <laughs> because, you know, she or she is holding the, the, the papaya, which represents the vagina, like, you know, uh, sex and passion, the body. And then Sappho, her boobs are showing here, and this is about love. So this is a passionate sexual love with these two cards right next to each other. It is. There's no denying, ain't no denying here. We have Audra Lord, and she's angry here, and she's wielding the sword. It's showing up with, and this is about justice. It's showing up with uh, humanity, and this talks about a reckoning, somebody accepting an ending or a failure. The justice card is here. Somebody's angry here that something's over, Sagittarius. You could have, I don't know if you pulled down your pants and you pulled up your top here, right, for it to show your... Uh, to show your, you know, your papaya, and then to uh, show off your boobies here, okay? <laughs> because that's what it looks like here. It's hilarious, right? And it's like I almost kind of want to do this to the, uh, I can't do it, though, you know, kind of, <laughs> right? If you guys could see that. Uh, you could be saying, wow, she's, she's old and she's not acting very old, right? We have the card of success and aloneness. So the success, here's the lion. Somewhere in Asia, not the lion, the tiger, somewhere in Asia, and he's, like, totally celebrating, uh, well, his, like, you know, his, uh, the person on top, like, the master or whatever, uh, yeah, I mean, we don't really want to call the master, but whoever's riding that tiger, or not the tiger, um, yes, it's a tiger, guys, sorry, what did I say, leopard, uh, is, you know, succeeding, is winning something, is, you know, has success, and it has to do with this love and this sex over here, Sagittarius, it is, Mm-hmm. And but somebody's alone. Somebody feels alone. This looks like somebody's ending something to come forward to be with you, or you're doing that. That's really how it looks here. Because we have happiness over the grieving or over the justice and the reckoning. Because these cards are first. Yeah, they are. And not just that. It, for me, love, love, you know, love heals. Let's see what we have here. Let's look at uh let's see what we got for Sagittarius. We're gonna put the tiny spread down and then we're gonna get into the larger spread. Let's look at the past, present, and future. Uh, did I say? Okay, this is how we're going to do this reading. And in the past, the King of Wands with the Three of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. So in the Three of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, Sagittarius, are three people. So this, for me, is already about some third party that you are in. And it sounds kind of cheap when I say third party, but let's say maybe a love triangle. Unless you just had some joy with somebody here, but we see an ending over here, and somebody's angry. Audra Lord's mad. Yeah. And that's not you. I don't feel like it could be, because the reading could be, you know. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's somebody who is being left behind by their person to come be with you. That's how the reading is looking right now. 
I mean, even with the way the cards came out, right? The body, like passion here, love, because somebody loves you and they're passionate about you. And here's somebody's angry right ab about that. And somebody, they could be angry, they have to accept an ending. You could be putting an ending to somebody's reunion, Sagittarius, you could. All right, I'm mad at you. I thought you were, you know, Mother Teresa, just teasing, all right? <laughs> I'm just teasing you guys. You'd be saying, oh, God. So, you know, here in the current energy uh, is here the Page of Swords. You're wondering if you're going to have victory with this person or they're wondering if they're going to have victory with you. And I feel like there's an overcoming of struggles here or something. Yeah, maybe you had to wait for them forever. Somebody feels alone here. In the near future, we have only good things. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's choosing to come and invest, or you are. And I have to say this is a choice, not really a crossroads. It could have been a crossroads in the past, but it's not now. No. So let's see. And let's look at the past. Uh, yeah, Three of Cups. Let's look at the past the other way. Like, you know, uh, in a column here. We have... Uh, you know, we still have, we could, it could have been in the past, somebody was just like, somebody made a decision, I feel like, to reunite Ace of Swords. Interesting how that can be <coughs> a decision or kind of the truth. Currently, we have uh, also somebody's making a decision for a victory and to overcome these struggles and to have balance. <coughs> the Ten of Pentacles showing up here. And this is, here's the page of swords. You or your person or both is wondering if you're going to have this commitment. Yeah, and it, definitely. And there you are, the king of wands, Sagittarius. Right? Yeah, don't use your wand, Sagittarius, unless it's for something noble. Yeah, please don't do that. Don't take advantage of your power. Right? That's a big problem. So let's see what we got, you guys. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you guys. So let's see what we have. And let's go ahead and get a shuffle in here, Sagittarius. Uh, yeah, we have definitely conflicting cards here. So we know what the storyline is. We do. Uh, let's see what we have for Sagittarius and their person. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> let's see. Yes, yeah, so we have the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Devil, your person, and the Hierophant. Somebody, this person could be married to somebody, right? They could. And somebody's angry here about some type of an ending, and the, uh, the lovers is here. This is a choice. As I was saying over here, there's a decision being made, right? Yeah, there is. So let's see what we have for you guys. And Temperance, the first card, Sagittarius, in your... In your spread here, right? You look like some chick out of the kind of, I don't know, late 70s or 80s with the way your hair is kind of big and it's short here, but it's kind of big. <laughs> <coughs> the Ace of, Ace, uh, I'm sorry, the star card here. So this is already you're starting out uh, with like standing in your power here or, you know, you're, you're doing really well here. I feel like you, your person's going to come forward. You have some type of success here. It's showing up right here. And here you are upright. But I feel like your success is, it could be money, but I feel like it's this union. It could be, right? The Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles is, is showing up here. You have the card of the Chariot and the Ace of Swords, which can both be victories. So you could be succeeding you know, at work as well. Your challenge is the Seven of Pentacles. What you want is the Five of Pentacles. So nobody wants this kind of energy. You Maybe you want this person to leave somebody out. Because it does indeed look like there's three people here. Yeah, with the storyline. Your fear is justice. Maybe that they won't make this decision to do it. Maybe you're fearing since they're married, they're in a contract. They're, maybe they're not going to come forward for some. No, not everybody's married, you guys. You could be saying no. That's not true in my case, right? I mean, these are general reads. They're not personal readings. Let's see what else we have, you guys. Your person wants the Empress, Sagittarius. That's you. 
You're the third wheel here, Sagittarius. Yeah, you went from, you're going from the third wheel to the queen. You, I feel like you are, or the king. The adored one. Here's the body and the love card together. It doesn't get better than that. It, not from that deck. This is sex and passion and joy. And this is love. Heartfelt love. That's why she, you know, she's showing her titties here, right? She's like, well, <laughs> just teasing, right? So, you know, your person has the Ace of Cups, Sagittarius, underneath the star card. These are, these are like, you guys want to be together here. In the past, they had the Page of Pentacles. Something they valued underneath Temperance. They valued you. Valued. Right? The challenge for them is the Knight of Wands. This could be you. It could be taking, it could be taking action. It could be that maybe, you know, maybe they were kind of dandy-randy in the past. Like kind of, you know... Maybe they were a little bit of a player in the past because there's somebody else here. Maybe you felt like that. Maybe they treated you that way. I don't know. We're going to look at this card in a minute. The challenge here, you, I feel like you do want them to leave somebody out or you feel left out. And you want to, like, sacalo, like, get rid of that, like, you know, get rid of that energy. Quítalo, right? Yeah, like, get rid of it. Right? Let's see what we have in the challenge for you. Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands. So this is really challenging for you. For me, it's this choice that you wanted them to make. Maybe your challenge, you just feel like they had options. Because you want them. You want them here. I feel like you want them to heal. You want to heal this. You want a new beginning with them, and they want one with you. And let's see, I, you could be wanting them to leave out their marriage. Just look at these two cards together. Five of Pentacles, Justice, OMG. Maybe you want them to leave a, a Libra. Justice. I mean, judgment. This could be saying you want them to get a divorce. Justice and judgment. I mean, what else is there, in, you know. But you could also be, you know, maybe you just want them to, you know, leave their marriage out and you want the rebirth. This is clear here. This is... You want them to make a decision. You want a rebirth. You want justice. You want the truth, I feel like. I just think that there's like, you know somebody, You, I feel like you feel like they love you. And so that's part of the truth that you want. And you feel like, you know, with the truth always comes kind of like something you deserve. It's, it's just, that's how it is. The truth is always deserved. Their energy is the, the Ace of Cups with the full card. Here they are. They're coming, Sagittarius. This is their current energy. Underneath the star card. This person's coming, like, any day now. <laughs> they are. And the, the Knight of Cups is their challenge with the Page of Swords. I feel like their challenge is just wondering about you. I don't feel like it's about taking action here. Let's get another card on their challenge. King of Pentacles. That's probably them. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. <clears throat> their challenge could be the moment. The moment to take action. The moment to do this. The Empress is what they want in the Four of Wands. They want a union with you, Sagittarius. That's what that is. And their fear is a Two of Wands and the Four of Swords. Their fear is they could have made this choice and they won't be able to heal this with you. They won't be able to recover this. That's what that man's doing. He's recovering in the church after some battle. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we have the King of Wands here. Yeah, they're afraid they're not going to like recover this with you. They could be afraid that you, you might sit there at a crossroads and go, well, I need to think about this. Come back, you know. Come back in January. <laughs> we're going to end this reading and we're going to go to the extended. We're going to see how they see this situation, Sagittarius. I really want to see this because here it is, right here. Current energy for them. Ace of Cups, full card. Like, they're coming. They, like, they just already jumped off the cliff and, you know, here they come. We're going to see how they feel about you, their environment, what they're thinking about, Sagittarius. Yeah, we're going to see the block for them. <clears throat> what you may not know about them or, you know, what they haven't told you, what they're hiding, things like that. 
the near future and their true intentions or their outcome. Thank you so much, you guys are all super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. The link is below. And uh, wishing you guys a ton of power and light.